Greger, how can you avoid ending up in court? Well, this year's Nobel Prize in Economics is about contracts. And it's about contracts that lead to a win-win. And when you have a win-win, you don't have a conflict and you don't end up in court. Why are contracts so important? When people collaborate, um, they have different interests. And the contract is uh, a way to balance those interests between the parties. I bought a new phone in a store a few months ago with an insurance. If something goes wrong, I need to pay a deductible fee. Has this something to do with contract theory? Absolutely. Uh, so if there wasn't a, a deductible, uh, you wouldn't be careful for, uh, about your phone. But with a deductible, uh, you have the same incentive as the insurance company. You both want to avoid uh, problems with the phone because you both will have to pay. How do you reward performance in a contract? So that, that's what the Nobel Prize is about. Uh, uh, the proper rewarding of uh, performance. Because, uh, well, basically a contract is about someone asking someone else to do something and then rewarding them for having done it. But if those actions are not observable, not predictable, well then you want to reward people, uh, the other party, for uh, the benefits that they give. But when you measure benefits, there is a lot of noise that has nothing at all to do with um, the actions. So you want to separate, separate the um, part of the benefit that comes from the uh, other party's actions and what comes from chance or trends and so on. Incentives, do they always work? No, uh, incentives don't always work because um, the um, person being incentivized uh, must be sensitive to the incentives and of course there are other competing factors but more often than not they do work but then of course comes the cobra effect that is that uh, you get what you incentivize and maybe not what you wanted to get can you give an example of the complexity with incentives take a school as an example in in the um, school system here in sweden parents will choose a school where they think their kid can go to get a good grade. So the schools are competing to give good grades, which means that grades are rising and rising and rising. And, uh, but if, if we look at international comparisons, Swedish uh, school results are actually getting worse. So the uh, incentive for, for high grades leads to an inflation in grades, leading to the opposite of the behavior that we want. How can you anticipate everything when writing a contract? You can't anticipate everything when you write a contract, and that is also what the Nobel Prize is about this year. How you can keep things open until they happen by placing uh, risks and rewards, and especially ownership of those things, uh, with um, the agents in a proper fashion. So how do you solve it? Well, so the solution is to have people being rewarded for the right behavior, even in the future. And a big part of that is uh, about having ownership of the results that you produce. Are there any other findings that could be used from their theory? So it's very interesting about uh, privatization. Um, Hart has an example of a prison where uh, if it's state-owned, um, the prison warden uh, has no incentive to cut costs too much. But if it's privately owned, uh, the incentive for, for the owner is to cut costs as far as possible. And then you need to counter that with a contract that prevents this sort of thing from happening. And uh, maybe it's just easier to uh, put ownership in the right place than to write a contract that covers every eventuality. So this is very actual with the discussion about 
welfare profits in Sweden. Yes. So, so uh, there is a. Um, what is the proper way to ensure that the private owner uh, has an incentive to give good quality uh, and not just take the money and run? So the contract theory gives an understanding why we behave like we do. Is that a good summarize? Yes, and it gives an understanding of, of why society looks like it does. That uh, sometimes you have to write contracts based on what you can measure and not on what you should measure.